Hello, welcome to Reflexive Moon Tarot. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, today is Halloween, so I thought I would get set up and do a collective Halloween spread for YouTube. Uh, my intentions with this setup is to hang out on Twitch tonight if all goes well. So let's get into this collective read for you all. Oops. And see what what's going on between now and the next read for the folks checking out this space. Let's see what Mildred has to say too. So we have the scarab. And if I am correct. This one has to do with um, with luck. So it did come through reverse. Might be feeling a little bit unlucky or feeling like our longevity is being challenged on some level. But you know, it's it's a dreary Halloween day. Winter's coming. There's plenty of reasons to feel a little bit down and out for some folks, but we do not need to let this mean that it's going to get the best of us. Let's see what the cards have to say. And maybe we'll light up a little bit of sage here to clear out some of that energy. This is one of my favorite decks to use at this time. The artwork is beautiful. Jack o' lantern. And we have the world. So, despite this feeling like we're tired, we are in the right place at the right time. We can count on that. And this card sometimes is an indicator of going through uh, or overcoming a cycle of of trauma. So, it may have been a year ago perhaps that you've experienced some trauma. Or maybe nine months, depending on what cycles resonate with you. Six months. We have the nine of wands. So you're really just exhausted, but still you have enough energy to maintain the status quo and hold down, hold down the fort. You're getting shit done still. And you are protecting protecting everything that you've worked for and protecting yourself as well tending to your wounds just trying to get by with a lot on your plate ten of pentacles so it's reversed overlooking the situation we are somewhat dissatisfied and feeling like there really is no, like we're sort of missing out on the momentum of wealth creation. We're missing out on the momentum of being satisfied with our health and feeling like it's sustainable. It's going to last. Then we have the Four of Wands reverse, subconsciously feeling like you need to re-energize or rekindle the fire at home. On the home front, you might be experiencing some trouble with relationships. And even that could be the relationship that you have with yourself in your space. How well are you taking care of your space? If you're getting just enough done because it's very overwhelming, it may not it may not look pretty, but you're getting through your days. So how what can we do to improve this? Usually like a spring type of cleaning is the type of, you know, is what's being called into order. So maybe a fall clean or getting yourself cleared out to be prepared for the winter. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So in your past, there's someone who is really sort of non-committal, not really intuitive, but tries to act like they are. Uh, 
may have may have sort of played you. You've been played on some level in the past and it's really unfortunate. This person does not have the best intentions. They think that they have the gift of sight or they'll just sort of play you up on how connected they are or how emotionally present they can be. This person can also act like they're in tune with both their feminine and masculine qualities when in actuality, they're probably really narcissistic and just trying to make it look like they have their shit together. In your immediate future, though, we have the Ace of Wands. So you are going to find some new energy. Find some new energy and come up with some new ideas that you may feel like you might be waiting for them to sort of come to you on some level or you're waiting for signs, but you're open to signs and you are receptive at this time with the Ace of Wands. And this is going to be like, it may not be at this exact moment that you're seeing this reading. This is like in the near future that you are going to be receptive to some new energy that's going to spark and get you lit on knowing that you're the shit on you know, putting your ideas out there, your energy, setting your intentions, that sort of magician type of work. And then making space. So dealing with this reverse four of wands. And then we have the knight of pentacles. So you got to get grounded, though. If you want this fire to burn well, it's got to have some good um, prepared earth. Earth that is able to foster this energy with for yourself as well as for others. Um, you might be experiencing some health problems as well within your attitude. So your attitude is kind of stinking thinking. And maybe you are in need of a place to blame or maybe you're in need of someone to blame and that's fine like you know every story requires every story has a villain right or some people some people just require a villain for their story some people don't uh and you know like it's okay to have a villain someone to blame for being a problem or a part of the problem or creating a problem. But at the end of the day, it's not going to be, it's not going to have anything to do with you taking responsibility for what it is that you need to do. And maybe being too stubborn. Uh, the King of Pentacles is an earth sign and a negative aspect of all the earth signs is stubbornness. So perhaps you've been too stubborn about... It could be anything, really. So pick whatever. Like, you decide. You're going to have to be rigorously honest with yourself about the ways in which you are too stubborn and could could have been more lenient or could have been more willing to compromise, willing to see um, see things from a different perspective. And you don't know what you don't know. So it's it's, it's difficult to challenge, to challenge yourself that way. We have the Page of Pentacles. So, you know, these two go hand in hand, right? You're learning and people see that you're willing to learn. So that is, that's going to be something that works for you is the fact that people see that you're learning and that you're trying and that you do have a very solid grounded message to pass on, like to relay. You are interested in communication and fostering health, wealth, career energy. It's just a matter of learning how to plan better, learning how to be more mature, and also to exercise very meticulous levels of self-care. So understanding the ways in which you need to take care of yourself. And I don't mean take care of yourself in terms of like having a spa day. That could be it. But self-care has everything to do with um, being analytical, being critical, 
and adjusting in a necessary way to continue moving forward. So sometimes that's accepting hard truths about yourself. We have the Eight of Wands. Didn't really come up like reversed or upright. We'll leave that here. But so again, this is sort of centered in the fear of not putting your energy in the right direction and also of not taking the initiative that you need to put your energy into any kind of direction and then moving too hastily like and all over the place. So sort of refining and being more focused with direction and where you're headed. And that's, that's a really great hope to have, I would say. And the, and the fear aspect would be, you know, not really knowing what to do and being stuck in not knowing what to do. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. So you could be, you could be, uh, let's see here. This is the final outcome. We have the Four of Pentacles. So... Just being careful with your energy, um, not being too sort of hoard, hoardy with your energy, and also, what else? I'm just trying to think here. Not allowing others to drain you. I think it's really important that you filter through the type of people that are sucking your energy. And also not looking for a reason for people to suck your energy. You if you look all hoardy like you're like you got something to lose or if you are directing your energy in a way that is not ethical it's really important to make sure that like you know and understand that you might just like be end up being a victim of your own pride and mess stuff up for yourself. So just be very mindful with your energy where it's directed and and try to stay as balanced as possible and to also challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to continue moving forward into a new frame of mind because being stuck in the four is really just like sort of settling for less. And just holding on to whatever it is that you have. And whatever it is that you have is is not sustainable. It's not, you're not at the Ten of Pentacles. You know that you're not at the Ten of Pentacles. So if you just maintain the status quo, you may actually end up falling short on some level. And you will, you will figure out. You'll figure it out. You'll learn this lesson. It may be a bit of a tough one. But you will... You will go through that cycle of death and rebirth and it won't be pretty. It's never really pretty hard lessons, but it'll happen and it will end up enriching your life in ways that you will be learning about, which is a beautiful part of the process. So with that, thank you so much for checking out this Halloween read and I hope you all um, have a great day night out if you're going out if you celebrate halloween um you can catch me on twitch at some time at some point soon i'll be on tonight hopefully if not um in the next few days take care and bye for now